All right, we're going to go. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Retro and Rare podcast episode for a Morbius Monday. There you go. Uh, I didn't get to see the fucking trailer because you just... Yeah, well, you came in my house instantly. Two hours late. Again, scumbag. Yo, did you see the fucking Morbius trailer? Fucking Morbius, bro. Just because we were talking about Morbius yesterday with the comic books and this and that. Bro, shut the fuck up. I saw the fucking trailer. You didn't see it. You already said it's the greatest movie ever. You didn't see the fucking trailer. It's pretty good, though. I'm going to watch it with captions right now. If you... No. Stop. Pay attention to the fucking show, idiot. You're supposed to be my producer. Will produce, motherfucker. Well, it's a Morbius Monday. What do you think? It is a Morbius Monday. I do like Mor- you. Fuck with Morbius. Yeah, he's Spidey. Spidey. Yeah, I was gonna say it's. I saw it. Sony movie comes up. I'm like, oh, no wonder. But anyway, uh, we're gonna talk about the Comic Con we went to. Comic slash Toy Con here in Orlando it was pretty good. What would you say out of ten it was? It was like a seven because it's nice. crowded as That's shit. That's what I feel like. Seven, seven point five because they had some good cosplay. Even though I think cosplay is. I, I give those people credit, man, because I it's just something I would never do, even in my wildest, wildest dreams, bro. I would never be into cosplay. Are you? Would you do it? Yeah. I awesome. don't know what it is. Like I, I'm not saying though people are weirdos, because you know what? I really enjoyed it. We Michael Myers, Leatherface, fucking Ghostface. How fucking good was that? Not Ghostface from Wu Tang. Ghostface from Scream, by the way. Nobody was dressed like Ghostface Killer from Wu Tang. Thank you. Um. I had a good time, but what did you say? Got a little crowded. I don't like being around too many people like that. I get, like, anxiety, bro. There's too many fucking people. But you know what? They're all nerds like us. It's not like I felt nervous. Like, you know, it's just... When you're in a space like that... And what did I say, Doyle? What do... Punctual Paulie all day. Got to get to my house at 8 o'clock in the morning. You're screaming at me the night before. No, nah, bro, it's too early. I can't get up that early. I can't get to your... I got to get up at 6. I got to shut the fuck up. What did you do? You got to my house early. And what did you say? What did you say as soon as we pulled in there early? Well, I'm glad we came here early because, bro, how bad was the parking? Let's start there. Parking. How bad was it? Yeah, thank God we found that guy. 45 minutes driving around. 45 full minutes driving around looking for a spot. Bro, I appreciate millions of people being there, going there. And this this ain't MegaCon, bro. This is Orlando Toy and Comic Con. This is at a convention center. It's a nice place, big place. I didn't think it was going to be that nuts, but what did I tell you? It's a one day only. That's why. Um, and it's on a Sunday. So 45 minutes, uh, parking. I sniped out the dude. Yep. Cause I'm good, man. I'm fucking, I go, I, well, I'm starting to get aggravated. Then I start getting pissed, start slamming on the accelerator in the parking lot. It was getting crazy. I saw the exhaust fumes coming out. I'm like, there's someone sitting in that car, bro. We still wait. And guess what? We got it. Anyway, we didn't even get to the convention. So we get inside. Shout out to Mike's Comics, by the way. I should shout them out. Uh, Here in Orlando, uh, the owner, Mike, gave me a bunch of free tickets. We were supposed to have fucking... Will was supposed to go. Eddie was supposed to go. They didn't... They weren't able... Those are our friends. They weren't supposed... I mean, they were supposed to go. They didn't show up because of work and all this other shit. Sucks. They would have liked it. Um, But I got a bunch of free tickets, so thank you to Mike's Comics. Gave you your free ticket. You were gracious enough to purchase me a uh, Carnage figure. It was very nice of you, Doyle still a scumbag but it's all right bro you could you could be a scumbag and do nice things honestly it was great so we walk into the convention number one uh going to a convention like you is like bringing a five-year-old you just walk away and you're gone you're supposed to be filming me we're supposed to be doing a vlog the people want the vlog how many times did i have to call you on your bum ass cell phone where are you Pokemon. the fuck out of here bro I'm the one that's ADHD. Chill the fuck out and let me fucking... Damn, bro. You weren't doing nothing, though. I know, but, bro, I turn around to like, yo, this is... And you're gone. And then I just see people. And then I just see little people dressed up like Spider-Man. I see people in fu- wizards. And, and I'm like, where the fuck is this kid? I'm looking for his fucking Zelda backpack. Oh, by the way... By the way, before I forget... You know I'm the worst with this. And I say it every time. Yo, I'm sorry I forgot your name, bro. I will shout... You're going to shout him out. No, because this is for you. Somebody DM me today. Someone I talked to, I forget their name, sent me a picture of a Zelda backpack. Nice one. All gold. Remember the OG, the like the gold cart? Oh. It came out a few years ago. He DM'd me and he's like, yo, your boy Doyle, I think you would like this. Blah, blah, blah. I love the show. There you go. Oh, right. You got your first gift for being on the show. People actually fuck. See, I knew this was going to happen when the show started. I'm the bad guy because I'm mean to you. Blah, 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 blah. 
Well, now someone's sent into my house a Zelda backpack, and it's yours. So I'll give you his name, and you could shout him out when he gets it. I appreciate that, bro. It's very nice. Yeah, thank you. Shut the fuck up. Let me. Maybe. No. You didn't get it yet. Well, Look. people like that. I d- defend the Switch. That's <sighs> Don't get me. Bro, we're supposed to be talking about Comic-Con. We're going to talk about the Switch later, motherfuckers. Y'all ain't getting off that easy. Scumbags. The Switch Scumbags. That's your crew name, right? SS. That's your crew name? <laughs> I'm going to get you a t-shirt, Switch Scumbags. Um. So anyway, at the Comic-Con, were you going in there looking for anything in particular? Yeah, just shit that I What's your normal shit? You got Pokemon. Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, you found a Yu-Gi-Oh card. card. Did you end up looking up the card you bought because you thought you caught them slipping? Do you think it was worth more? Yeah, it was like 35 bucks. And you paid 10 bucks. Yeah. That's not bad. I mean, at a con too, because the con prices can be a little con prices, right? Like, I don't necessarily have a problem with it, but I'll be honest, going thrifting as hard as I've been back into thrifting the last month or two. Seeing shit for like, God damn it, it should be cheaper. Like, it makes me think like I could find this fucking figure or I could find this for way cheaper. I immediately uh, bought a Doctor Doom Marvel Legends figure within 18 seconds of being there, 40 bucks. I was like, damn it. I'm, I was really, and I was good, I'll be honest. We're not going to sit here and tell you that I bought a $1,000 comic yesterday. I didn't do anything. I did not buy, I spent like 50 bucks yesterday. I didn't pay for the tickets to get there like that. For once in my life, it was nice to go somewhere, enjoy it, not feel pressured to spend the money. I thought you were going to buy the first appearance of Punisher. I was, and you pointed it out, but I'm not going to do it. It wasn't even graded, though. I, I, if I'm going to buy that, I'm going to buy it graded. All right. And then not open it like you did to a graded comic. Anytime I say graded comic, I'm always going to mention that you opened a graded comic so you can read it. I just want to put that out there to the people. Now... Uh, I did. I know this is going to show up bad on camera because it's reflective, but uh, your boy got it. Got it signed. This is the this is the more well, not the rarest, but one of the more rare, harder to find variants of Absolute Carnage. I'm just going to move it around because I don't know if it's uh, um, and then I have another one on this side. Right, uh, Ryan. Shout out Ryan Stegman. He signed it. It was zoom cool. In. Thank God. No, don't zoom into that. Touch one. the camera. Die. So if you touch it, you're dead. And I'm serious. This is 2020. You might die on camera. But it's off camera because you're over there and the cops will never know what happened. So, thank you to him for signing the uh, comic. Now, another thing. Luckily, we got in line, right? For to, See, con opens at 10. We get there because of parking. I didn't walk into the building where the line is for the thing until 9.30, 45. And then how crazy was that line to get in? And you were like, yo, what the fuck? It was all the way down. But... How fast did it go? Because they just let everyone in. That's one thing. One thing I said yesterday. I'm not one of these people. Um, but the world we live in, I'm not so opposed to security checks. There was zero. There was zero. And look, I'm not that guy. I'm not the like paranoid schizo. I'm not that guy. But bro, every other con that we went to, you if you had a backpack, there was a security check. They even wanted us at the other one, right? Dude, I have my Castlevania back. I could have had anything in there, bro. And then especially these people that cosplay and they have guns anyway. It's like, I just, it's the world we live in, bro. I don't, and I'm not getting the political with gun laws and I don't even give a fuck. I'm just saying if there's a mass group of people, especially, and I'm not saying this, but our community is unique. We have some new unique people in there. A lot of people attach themselves to comics and games and they're depressed people and it's, they help them cope. I'm not, bro, I'm not saying anything bad about it. What I'm saying is. That should be on the list of places like, let's check people. Like, let's spend the extra few thousand bucks for the security. Nothing happened. It was great. I'm, I'm just saying it was an observation that I made. So, um, so we got in and immediately I was like, yo, where's Ryan? I need, I want this comic sign. That was one big thing. And once again, shout out to Mike's comics. He put me on that. This dude was going to be there. I really like the new, uh, absolute carnage series and, uh, carnage is my favorite comic book character. Really? He is. Which is, I know he's newer, but I just, ever since a young age, in the ni- early 90s, I attached myself to Carnage, like symbiote, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it was cool to get it signed by him, but the line was getting crazy. We were the first, what do you say, 15 people in line we were? At least 10? Yeah, he just sat down. And how crazy did that line get instantly? And this wasn't a very organized, and they, cons are like this, and I'm okay. Cons are essentially a giant room, bunch of tables. It's just open commerce for people to buy shit, and I love that. But when you have a table and it's in the middle of where it goes around and there's thousands of people and we're supposed to be standing in a line. And what do I want to talk about the most, Doyle? 
Tell the people what you already know without me telling you. Tell them. It's your favorite mom. Mm hmm. That bitch mother. Not my mother. God bless her soul. Barbara, I love you. No. This woman who was behind us was the stereotypical mother that got dragged to the con by their son who seemed to be about our age, which I'm not even hating on that, but it's just like, why is your mom there? Whatever. I don't even care. This lady wouldn't shut the fuck up about the line and where people are in the line and who's first and who's not. Yeah. Like, excuse sir, sir, you want line? No, the line starts here. They're not there. Like, okay, bitch, do you work here? I liked her, though. She policed the whole thing. Bro. No, she was fucking... She wasn't just, like, a cop, bro. She was, like, head of the FBI. She was, like, Scully and Mulder shit, bro. This bitch was... I'm like... Because they did make the line funky. They made it where it had to break off so people can walk through because it was on a curve of around the... I get it. But, bro. And then she would make comments because... Ryan was doing the sketches like sometimes it's not just as simple as mine. I just wanted a signature Some people were paying for a full sketch it takes eight ten minutes at least What's going on you see her over his shoulder? What's what does he got? He's ske- what is it spider-man? He's sketching it. Yeah Sketches I, yeah, I thought they just signed it. Oh, and they charge you extra for more Listen, bro. I, I mean I had you ever watch uh, what movie was that? Um, was it true lies with Arnold Schwarzenegger? And then it was, what's her name, was his wife. And he used to have visions. Like, he, he was, like, with the used car salesman in that movie. And he had a vision where he just beat the living fuck out of him. Now, I, wouldn't, I don't advocate hitting women. So, I can be careful now. I don't advocate hitting. I'm telling you that I had visions of maybe a drop kick, a Zangief. That was Bill Paxton, though. That was a guy. No, but this is a woman we're talking about. I just want to be clear. You know, motherfuckers think I want to beat on women. Because I had visions of, you know, possibly ending this woman's life. It was aggravating, but there's nowhere I can go. I'm just like, I just want to get this thing signed. Bro, it's constant in my brain. What's the line? Are you on the line? The line starts over here. Bro, unbelievable. Anyway, shout out Ryan. It was great. Other than the woman, other than fucking, you know, Felicia, whoever. I don't even know who she was. Great woman. I'm sure she's a wonderful mom. God bless her son. I hope they got it signed. That's it? You signed it? I, I could just imagine her. Anyway. Um, what did you buy? You bought Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You get something else? I got the uh, Miles Morales comic. Oh, that was pretty good. That was the Spider-Man shit. Um, you were looking at something else. I forget what it was. It was kind of pricey. There was some. I mean, there was cool shit in there. The one thing I I did like was the um, the patches. Oh, you and those goddamn patches, bro, dude. It. I mean, what's the big deal with the patches? Now they had some cool ones because they had the Maximum Carnage one. I'm just like, my thing is with those, and that's the compulsion in me that I catch now. I immediately did want to buy it all, but then I'm like, what am I doing with patches? You know where it's going to go? Catacombs right in the drawer. Yo, these are sick, bro. Oh, yeah, that's got drawer. I, I got to stop. I'm trying to get out of that. I'm trying to not do that. So um, <clears throat> what other highlights were there? Oh, I was going to say, I like that um, the idea that that guy had where he took loose figures and then he made those shadow boxes. That was cool, but... The Venom one, you saw you saw what I was talking about with the paint. So it, what it was, guys, was it was like a wooden square box, like a shadow box about that deep, where this guy would create a small scene. It was really cool. He had like bricks and shit for Venom, and then it was Venom climbing the wall. And it was cool, but the outside being wood, he just slapped like yellow and black paint. It just didn't look good. If he would have like, made it just like dark wood or just bricks, it would look great. He had Boba Fett. He had a bunch of cool ones. They were expensive. They were 180 bucks. So if you're taking a loose random figure and building a thing around it and charging a buck 80, I, I need a little more. I need a little more personally. Um, though That was something more unique that I saw other than the typical. There was a couple of um, vintage figures. See, what I notice now in the toy and comic cons are there are a lot of new shit. It's, it might be harder to find. Like, the Doctor Doom is brand new. It's not even out, as far as I know, in retail stores. That's why I paid 40 bucks for it. It's It goes for that about now, It's but it's above retail. But anything I see with old-school Doctor Doom, like the correct mask that I like, like more like MF Doom's mask, like that kind of a mask, I fuck with. Um, I'm trying to think if there was any other notable things. What I was trying to say is there's other... There was more retro... 80s 90s turtle shit there was some he-man shit and there was a bunch of loose shit in like digging in the bins or whatever but i didn't 
Once again, I'm not trying to with the figures. I recently picked up the uh, Carnage bust, which was really nice. That was from Coliseum of Comics, so that wasn't at the con, but that was a good pickup. What about the Shredder? Oh, the NECA Shredder. Yeah, so there's a, like a, a collector thing that I go through, right? So I have the NECA figures, which are great. They're about, I think they're about 18 inches tall, one-fourth scale. I got what? Donatello. I got uh, the T-800 Arnold. I got Michael Keaton Batman and Predators two, Predator 2 Predator, the jungle, the city jungle. Um, love them. Now, if I get Shredder, it's too random over there. If I get Shredder, it's like, well, where's Michelangelo? Where's Raphael? Where's Leo? Where's Splinter? Yeah, like, that's the problem. Like, those four represent to me my fa- some of my favorite childhood movies. Done. I think as a collector, in your mind, you need to do that. You need to set those parameters. And that's basing it on you and your own, the way you like to collect. Not, because when you saw, you were pushing me for the shredder. You're like, bro, the shredder is sick. And it was sick. I didn't even ask what the price was, bro. I don't care. I, I'm, I'm turning over a new leaf. Compulsive Carl would have been like, beep, 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 beep. Yesterday, I tested myself yesterday. I didn't say nothing to you. But I was testing myself because you can get into real trouble at those cons. I got my backpack. I got a fucking wallet full of money. I could have fucking ding, 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 ding. But you know what? I'm good on the figure shit. And me and you talked about comics. I'm a comic guy. I'm not, I think you're more of a comic guy than me. And that's pretty obvious. I don't really have um, that much of an interest in comics unless they're like super, like I was geeking out to you last night about that bullshit, uh, uh, Ghost Rider Wolverine comic I bought for a dollar at the uh, thrift store and you're like yeah okay cool I'm like no 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 but this is the first comic that I ever went to the fucking comic store on my bike and bought myself that's the type of shit I'm into I don't need I mean first appearance of Punisher is nice yo they had an Amazing Fantasy there Amazing Fantasy 15 was chilling it was, I mean it was behind it, it wasn't graded though right so it would have maybe only been a few thousand right it said like from her personal collection and some shit from whose personal? Mary Jane's? Jameson's? You're fired. I do a pretty good Jameson. Movie Jameson. Um, what else? Anything good? Anything else at the con that happened that is notable before we transition to item of the day? No? Well, say no, bro. People can't see you. Well, what? All right, let's go. That's it? All right, motherfuckers, you know what time it is. It's time for item of the day this week. Not sure if you guys can see this. This is just a fucking box, but is the Metal Storm Collector's Edition, kind of a re-release with a little extra on it from Retrobit Limited Run. Really awesome. Yeah, this is just a box. We're going to get some B-roll going. Um, So Metal Storm, great NES game, by the way. If no one owns Metal Storm on NES, phenomenal. But when they came out with this collector set, this is really some cool shit. I, I'm not... I can't say I've been huge on the limited run or even Retrobit. They both do great work on shit. Uh, I forget how it worked with this. This is by Retrobit, but it was I bought it through limited run. I forget how it worked, but really cool. The The point of this is I never was really into these things. I started... I got the, the Shenmue 3. I got a few of these things that I'm really liking. The Neo Geo one, uh, King of Fighters 97. Remember, it came in the Neo Geo. I like that shit. It, that's another dangerous thing motherfuckers get caught up in. Because you could buy that that shit forever. And it, it gets pricey. Some of it's really limited. So it came, first of all, the fact that it was all able to fit in this box is ridiculous. This shit, this bad boy, cool ass figure. Cool ass pin, right? More importantly, and my favorite thing about it, real deal, playable, legit. Boom. Cart artwork on the back phenomenal like i really this is something that uh i was really impressed with it came with a shit ton of artwork a shit ton like a cert of authenticity this is really nice shit man these things are and then yo they ain't sending i like i bought this this isn't like retro bitch just trying to get promotion like i paid for this shit and i really enjoy it and um i'm gonna be honest with you i've yet to pop in the in the nes because i didn't i didn't get a chance to I just got it the other day. We went to the con. We were playing a bunch of games yesterday, but I didn't think of it. Um, really cool thing. And this is the uh, display or the slip case that comes over the whole box. Like I said, we'll already have some B-roll footage of it. But 
Item of the day, man. Fucking Metal Storm Collector Set. They had a different version that was in a collector set. But you know what? This was like 70 bucks. I know the resale on eBay is a little higher, but you might still be able to find uh, one or two of them laying around an online store. I would say pick it up, especially if you're a fan of Metal Storm. Phenomenal. Now, <clears throat> let's get to the Switch. Anything you want to say before I go Ronnie rant on this motherfucker? Well, you try to button mash on Mario Kart. Yo, that's so funny, too. So let me address, like, many things. Come on. Okay, hold on. There's a couple of things here that I want to talk about. Number one, to all you wonderful people out there, I don't like the Switch. We'll just, we know that. Specifically about the video we posted yesterday. Did you guys need film of me playing like nine hours of Mario Kart for me to give you a definitive opinion? Like, do you think I've never played the fucking Switch before, people? Do you really think? How long's the Switch been out, Doyle? 2017, 16? Yeah. No, 2017. I'm okay, yeah. It's 22. It's three years. You think in three years that was the first time I picked up a fucking Switch? Yeah, and you're looking at me like an idiot because you know. You know that no, I've played yours a million times. I played it at other people's Switch. It's garbage. Basura. Comprende? Basura. Right? So I grabbed your Switch from you yesterday. You recorded me. I play fucking Mario Kart. I mash the buttons to show how shitty those Joy-Cons are. Shitty, meaning not good. Your battery was already dead, which was great. That was perfect. Thank you very much for that. That was an easy, that was a, a T-ball. Bink. But yo... It's not good, people. And guess what? Just like you love it, I can hate it. And just like you're vocal about how you love it, I'm going to be vocal about how I hate it because you idiots harass me. But you know what this did, which was great? Inadvertently, it weeded out all these fucking people that follow me and that hate me all of a sudden because I don't like the Switch. I am so glad. Guess what? I don't want to fuck with you people. You know how many people hit me up? I was a big fan of you, man. I really was a fan, and this is really, it hurt me. And I unfollowed you. <laughs> Are you serious, bro? Over the switch. Not, first of all, get it right. You can follow, unfollow, refollow, don't follow, follow whoever. I don't care. Makes no difference to me. My life exists outside of Instagram. You, if I had one follower, it wouldn't matter. It doesn't. The point is how funny and emotional people get, bro. Um, what is this new thing? The people with the Wu. Okay, if it was the Wu Shang one, you would like it. Yeah, it would be sick, but the Wu would never associate themselves with that bullshit. Mikey said it's too seriously. It's too serious. Yeah, I'm. I don't know, man. I'm pretty serious about this shit. I'm pretty. Go ahead, Doyle. Go ahead. You look like you have something good to say. They got a lot of good games. <laughs> We're still going with that. Do I have to death stare you again? A lot of good games. Run through them for me. Go ahead. Breath of the Wild. Okay, yeah. Odyssey. Uh huh. Mario Kart. Right. The fishing game you bought me. Okay. And Star Fox on SNES. Okay, so let's run through those again. Breath of the Wild, which is overrated by fanboys. The artwork is not great. Everyone shut the fuck up. The artwork is because Nintendo had to compromise due to the lack of hardware. Thank you. Cool. I'd rather play Ocarina of Time. I'd rather have Ocarina of Time remastered in an Unreal 4 engine. Oh, sorry, can't switch, can't run that. Okay, what was the other one? Mario Odyssey? Mario 64 is better. It's simply a better game. It was it was better. So much so that they tried to make the, like the new version of it. I mean, right? Isn't that kind of what it is? Whatever. And what was the other one? The, the fishing game I bought you, which is garbage. I don't, I don't even know. And then, and then you mentioned Star Fox on the SNES. And don't say SNES. It's Super Nintendo, motherfuckers. Or SNES. Do not say the word SNES. I can't stand that word. I don't, I don't like it. What about the SNES Mini? <laughs> Bro, that, stop saying that word. I don't like it. Anyway, like, can I get... You didn't say anything inquisitive or anything to help your argument that the Switch is a great console. I could bring it over and play right now. Listen, and everyone that's attacking me saying, why are you attacking a system? First of all, everybody so you have context. The only reason I'm making the Switch post is if you've been following me long enough, you know the history of when I initially said the Switch sucked when it came out. Ever since then, there has been a group of people that have been coming at me just when, whenever it's convenient for them to try to criticize or harass me about the Switch, which is funny. And it's all in good fun for some people. Some people are too serious, and that's great. But recently, I don't know what, I was, uh, what we were doing about the Switch or whatever. 
but I had we had another heated debate about it at the house with everyone over. So I said, all right, and we put up a post about it. We talked about it on our last podcast, and people just come out of the woodwork defending the Switch. Hey, guys, you could like it. It doesn't mean it doesn't suck. There are things in your life that you like that suck, like your Miami Dolphins. You could love them. They suck. Am I right? So why can't the Switch be one of those things? It doesn't, my opinion should never affect whether you enjoy it or not. And then people want to say, well, my opinion doesn't carry any weight. Well, obviously it does. It's causing an emotional reaction from you defending it. Just move on with your day, bro. Yeah, but if everybody likes it. Right, and there you go. There's the hype beast mentality. Good. If everyone likes it, then it must be good. Not everybody likes the Dolphins. Well, no. I mean, we were talking about two different things, Doyle. So so you would say, you, you just go along with whatever the, the, the norm is or whatever... So, you, I mean, you're the best because I love talking to you about this because you're the quintessential hype beast. You're the fucking dude that jumps on the bandwagon of everything. Yeah, you wouldn't even let me get Ryan Stegman's you, autograph. Correct. Because you didn't know who the guy was. You don't own and you, you have nothing to do. You're one of those dudes that's going to sell that shit on eBay. You, you only wanted his autograph because his line was the longest. That's the only reason you thought about getting his autograph. You have no idea who he was. What about your boy who you love that was mad about the traffic? I-4 was a bear? Yeah, he was pissed. There was another artist that was there that was fucking, he came in, he was an old man, he was waddling around, he had paperwork and all type of shit falling out of his briefcase. The fucking traffic! Anyway, we got off topic again. We're supposed to be talking about the Switch. So, I don't like the Switch, but I love the controversy it caused with all these motherfuckers that try to defend it. Hey, listen guys, once again, you can't diminish my knowledge of video games, my collection, my involvement in video games for 25 fucking years of my life. Honestly, I'm not bragging. I'm not saying anything. I'm not just a random dude that's casual. Most of those people that are coming at me are casual gamers. I don't care if it's created for children and casual gamers. Those are the only two people that should be enjoying the Switch then. But, but you hate elitist people. It's not, being, it's not about being an elitist, bro. It's about taking something that's mediocre at best and standing on the hilltop and screaming it's the best thing ever. Just shut the fuck up about it. Just shut up when it's clearly not. And then the end of that conversation is always, oh, well, no, I, I, I didn't say uh, it, It's not the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4. I know that. And are we arguing over something trivial? I guess. What? This is what I'm passionate about. Do the other motherfuckers not have shit they're passionate about in life? Because that's the other thing. Bro, you're a grown-ass man arguing about video games. Oh, uh, yeah, bro. That's what I do. You think I give a fuck that you don't like that I'm a grown man arguing about video games? What the fuck? That's what I do in life. You go to work, you do your thing, you got a family, you don't have time. I have time, bro. I got nothing but time, and I choose to spend my time being involved in video games and the video game community. So my opinion is based on experience, and it's based on, like, knowledge of video games, bro. So I have a really hard time with people that don't come at me with any kind of factual information. You're, 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 spe you're regurgitating shit you hear on the internet. You know what I mean? It's the same thing when I post other things. And everyone else wants to criticize one little thing here or there, and then I correct them, but I'm the bad guy. It's okay. I, I, didn't, I didn't go ham in the comments with people. I let people speak their mind on it, which is fine. I did. A couple of people I came back at, but I wasn't a dick. It's, it's okay. I had to block a few people that got a little crazy, hopped in my DM with some stupid shit. Oh, that might have been me. Yeah, your other account. I knew it, bro. The Switch Scumbag 64. That's you? You like the 64. It says though. you're from fucking Aloma or some shit or somewhere in Texas, bro, and you're fucking... But you like Nintendo. I don't get it. I know, and that's where my hatred really for the Switch comes from. And the Wii and the Wii U. That's where it comes from. It comes from, damn, bro, this, this company that I was like I grew up with and it was like amazing to me. Either I grew out of it. I, I've come to the conclusion. Either Nintendo is made for children and really casual gamers, or... I just... Well, being for children, I would grow out of it, right? Or like I just... I don't know. To me, the exclusives on a Switch, and I, I attribute it to me growing, I don't care about Odyssey anymore. Like, I play Mario 64 still because I was 10 years old when I played it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I play it. As a 35-year-old man, I don't, I don't know why, but I don't have an interest in playing Mario Kart, which is horrible. As a, no, but I'm not into, I'm not into the, fun, the fun, cutesy, arcade, bump-em race games. I'm just not. I don't like crash racing. I don't like any of that. 
what about Samus Returns on 3DS? Now, look, Metroid I love, right? Now you're talking about 3DS, not the Switch. Didn't... No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you're saying, like, Nintendo sucks all the way. You know, and their handheld's garbage, too. The 3DS is absolute trash, bro. And then you can tell by... Look, we just pu we pulled out the PS Vita yesterday, right? And we haven't played in a while. I charged it up, and we were playing Marvel's Capcom 3 and all this other shit. Were you not impressed again? Every once in a while, you're like, damn, this OLED screen. Yo, his battery life is sick. Yo, okay, lack of game support. But as a handheld that came out in 2013, it's better than the Switch as a handheld. No, the Switch isn't a handheld. It docks. Well, guess what? If they would have created or concentrated all of their effort on making it a home system instead of the portability, you wouldn't have to compromise. Probably could have been better hardware. Am I right? You had to compromise to make it portable. You know, you can't... A, P, a true PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X is not portable because you can't carry around a CPU and all that shit to really run the games. That's what Stadia is trying to do. Trying to do remote. Like, the work's being done over there. We're just giving you the feed, but... But anyway, this, the fucking PS Vita came out like three or four years before the Switch even came out. Maybe more. And to me, as a handheld, it's better. You're going to tell me that OLED screen's not better than the, the screen on the Switch? Yeah, Granted, it's bigger. I'll give you that. It. What's that? They didn't make it. Well, the lack of games. And I, I agree with that. And But see, so I don't... I rather, because it doesn't doesn't affect me as a company, I'll take the Vita better handheld and whoops, Sony made a mistake on this and we got the better system, but it didn't last long rather than the executives in Nintendo going, whoa, 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 before you make that more powerful and we raise that price, which is already ridiculous, let's make sure we get as much gimmicky shit and kid shit so all the families buy it. So even if the real gamers don't buy it, we're good because the families will buy it up. They don't know. All they know is the mother, the son's tugging on the mother's shirt. Mommy, buy me a fucking Switch because da, 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 da. that's it. Eh, I'm being selfish, I guess, in the end, right? I just want... Nintendo to concentrate on the more serious gamer. What is it going to be? The Switch Pro? Is that, is that what it's going to be? A Switch Pro? Because they know it's underpowered, so it's like, fuck it, we can double up the money. I know it's underpowered, but fuck it. Then you'll be on board? I don't know. Oh, would I be on... Oh, no, no, actually, I'm sorry. I blanked out. No, absolutely not, because unless they put, like, exclusives that take me there, I still rather... Number one, I'm not a handheld guy. Like, to that level. I don't need I don't care. So that's that's one thing, a handheld thing I'm just not into. Um but you think it's gonna be more powerful than a PS five or the new uh Xbox? You really think so? It's obviously not. They don't need to be though. But maybe they should maybe they should. Why 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 not make something beefy as fuck that's super powerful? I mean we're talking about new shit. If you wanna go back to SNES and that which in its day was powerful, I'm not talking about the classics on Nintendo. They're always gonna be classics. But going forward, man, why not make an attempt to really fucking get into, like, some powerful gaming hardware? You could still have Mario Odyssey, but make something else. So I would like it, too. But you know what? There's more people out there as the casual than there is the hardcore. And they're banking on that more. So it's a business decision on their end. And I'm always for the culture. I'm not for the business. Blah, blah, blah. So people need to realize my rants on the Switch are all based on people harassing me for years. Like, do you guys not think that if I have all this shit, you don't think I could buy a Switch and just, of course, because I'll post something Nintendo related and someone will say something about the Switch every single time. Oh, but yeah, but you don't have a Switch. And you know what? It's not even people trolling. It's people like really being inquisitive. Like, how do you take yourself serious? I had people tell me and I'm being serious. How do you take yourself seriously as a gamer when you don't have a Nintendo Switch? More than one person, upwards of 10, said the same message to me. Completely different random people. That aggravates me. I don't care what... I'm not here to be like, oh, I'm a serious gamer. That's not the point. But it's like, really, bro? So, the, oh, that's what makes you... So, none of this shit has anything... If I had a Nintendo Switch, though, which is a joke of a console, it's... And there's nothing exclusive or fun about it. Like, it's just stupid. And it's made for children, bro. And that's fine. I'm not, I don't criticize other things. I criticize things that are made for children that grown ass men fucking use and then claim it's better than shit that's really fucking made for our age demographic. I see you got your Zelda shirt on today. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Link to the past. You like that. Yeah. What does that have to do with? Oh, the remake? Garbage. You could play that on the Switch. The remake is nowhere near as good as the original. They made that shit look horrible. What the fuck kind of bullshit? Looks like, uh, what are those, Animal Crossing people? What the fuck is that, bro? Come on, bro. Come on. 
All right, motherfuckers, round three, round three. Let's get it done. Uh, Retro Fighters. Have you ever heard of the company? No. Is it Retro Fighters? I forget if it's even. Now I don't know if it's called Retro Fighters. Yeah, it is. Uh, they make a controller for the Dreamcast. It's coming out. Check them out. Um, they just put it up for pre-order today, and I believe they've been kind enough to send me a message that they'll be sending some through no. for testing. I, I uh, was speaking to one of um, who runs their social media, and, um, you know, I don't know how I feel about these new third-party controller releases. Like, for instance, we talked about the Hori controller by Retrobit. I didn't think it was as good as the original Hori one. Now, there is... The, this is going to be for the Dreamcast, so it's going to be like the fight pad, but it looks like a Dreamcast controller. Same setup, just a little better now if the D-pad is improved, right? That's the downfall with the Dreamcast controller, in my opinion. Would you say that? Dreamcast D-pad is garbage. So, <clears throat> certain fighting games only allow you to use the analog, analog stick, which they have the analog stick ready to go on there, which looks good. Not held it, not used it, so I don't know for sure. Believe it's going to come in color variations, the one I saw now is the standard kind of off-white, you know, Dreamcast color. But um, I'm, I'm back and forth on the third-party shit because at the end of the day, first-party quality is amazing. We can't get a new first-party quality Dreamcast controller anymore. The fight pad that's from Japan, which is in the shape like half-moon, six-button configuration, to me is the best fight pad or fight pad controller you're going to get. We'll see if this new one works great. I am applauding the attempt at kind of innovation going forward. Like, cool, you're going to get involved in, like, Dreamcast accessories in 2020. I'm with it. Because I still think in On the Low, like, on the black, the dark web of Dreamcast, there's some shit going on there. People still pumping out games. There's still online support for certain games. So anything to kind of make, shine a light on that even more, I, I love that. Um, I was thinking recently about modding a few things number one i was thinking about picking up a new arcade one up i think the mighty final fight one is only or not mighty final fight final fight is like 150 bucks at walmart so i'm thinking about picking it up customizing the controls doing a raspberry pi situation it's not really my wheelhouse but for that price point it might be good and I was thinking it was going to get me out of buying, like, the NBA Jam. Yeah, go ahead. They're coming out with new ones, right? Right. The NBA Jam. Oh, we could talk about that. So, NBA Jam uh, Arcade 1-Up Cabinet was at CES. Looks great. I like it. I'm cool. Four players. I can't. Arcade 1-Up, I love you guys to death. I think they're a great company. I know people that work there. I talk to them. They're cool people. But, same thing with the Turtles. I The four-player configuration is simply too small for that cabinet size it looks awkward just looking at it and i've played with four people it's like doable but not comfortable even two is kind of crowded exactly so for you to add another two for instance behind you there we have the mortal Kombat 2 street fighter cabinets they're next to each other bro that's four controllers look how far apart they are but my biggest problem the screen size if you're going to have a four player setup you need to make the screen bigger but now we're fucking up the logistics of the cabinets now we're talking about they're bigger gotta be more money so <coughs> excuse me i don't know what the answer to that is i if they released nba jam with two players you know sure as shit people would complain say four players i get it my biggest disappointment marvel vs capcom cabinet not marvel vs capcom 2 so they're doing x-men vs street fighter Marvel vs. Capcom. Am I mad at those fighters? Not necessarily. But you just released the Marvel Superheroes one. Got the limited one. Love it. It's got Children of the Atom. X-Men fighting game. Also has the Punisher. Beat em up. Great game. Why not just do a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 cabinet? Why not? I, I, like, I would love to speak to someone at Arcade 1UP. Maybe it's licensing. I mean, there could be a million things. Why would you not just do a Marvel vs. Capcom 2? They're going to do it, though. What? They're going to do it. This is just Marvel vs. Capcom 1, right? So Okay, Doyle. When you say shit like that, do you have any facts? Did you talk to someone? You know someone in Arcade 1-Up that I don't know that said they're going to do that? Or are you just saying shit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. You can't just say shit because that's not true. They, if they put out a... I already said they're not going to do a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 once I saw the Marvel superheroes. 
it did surprise me. Oh, more versus Capcom won. So I'm like, oh, bro, I've never been happier about being wrong. But then I'm like, if they did a Marvel versus Capcom 1, and then they added, and then from what I hear, it's only, or see, it's only two games. It's X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom 1. It's not even the three game. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. Um, What the fuck? Where's Marvel vs. Capcom 2? It's easily regarded as the greatest fighting game of all time. You don't have to do too much research and dig in and go, oh yeah, the second one would be a better choice. Imagine the fucking marquee. Like, and it's not just me being fucking selfish saying I want, like, there are many people that that was when Arcade 1-Up first started coming out and they did uh, Street Fighter, that was the first thing people were saying. Yo, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is going to be amazing. Where is it at? Adonde? It's not here, bro. Why is it not here? Whatever. I, I don't, I don't, I just think it just annoys me because it's like, ah, it's right there. Why did you do Marvel vs. Capcom 1, you motherfuckers? Just put the second one. Anyway. You're not going to get it? I'm, bro, listen. I ain't getting shit. I got to chill the fuck out. Bro, where am I going to put it, bro? Where am I going to put it? You want it in the living room? Is that where you want it? I got two of them in here. My office is fucking taking over. You really want it in my living room now? Arcade machines? I swore I wasn't going to do this. The other room got taken over. I can't go. I can't do that, bro. Golden tea? I know. I was going to put the... I remember I was going to make a sports bar in my living room. I was going to get rid of this giant cherry wood table and be like pool table sports memorabilia we're doing the fucking old school pool no stop no i can't bro i gotta just chill out sometimes but you know what i want to say has been going really well thank you to everyone that's been buying a ton of shit from me all my fucking overstock fucking shit in drawers man they're the real mvp bro i've been shipping shit out like fucking i need to get into uh i need i need a shipping connect because I've been going down to the British people at the post office. Hello. All right. All right. Another package. All right. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Fucking just throwing money out. It's like I was Sonic with a bunch of coins and got fucking hit by a bus. Them shits is just everywhere. Ding, 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 ding. I'm just giving money. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Um, people are getting their products. People are fucking happy. I'm happy to get rid of it. And, um... I'm, I, I, see, the problem is now everyone's hitting me up about everything they see, thinking I'm selling everything. Oh, yo, I saw one of your videos. You had it in the corner. Like, they'll point something out. I'm like, bro, it's not. Just stop it. Just, you got it. No. No. I, I appreciate it, though, and I'm glad that everyone's... Because, dude, some people now, because I tailed back a little, remind me of how compulsive. I was that guy. For years on Instagram, I'd be like, bro, you selling that? You selling that? You selling that? You selling that? But you know what? You you build great relationships with people. Like Instagram really is, if you want it to be a virtual fle- a flea market. Of course, there are scumbags. You got to be careful. You know, you you're in uncharted territory there, and there's no one backing you up. You start sending people money, you give people your address. Doesn't matter. They don't send shit out. But I mean, I'm not that guy. I send all my shit out the next day, most of the shit, and um, I still got a ton of shit. So people are gonna hit me up about. It, I know. I didn't answer a bunch of DMs this morning when I woke up. Um. Anything else you're thinking of? We got any other topic suggestions? Kind of just did a freestyle off the dome show today. Should we tell people about the vlog? Oh yeah, yeah. But what, how do you decide what to sell, what to what to keep? Uh, based on your personal interest. So it doesn't. It's very simple. If you really like what you have, you don't sell it. You know, if it comes to, <clears throat> well, you got no man's guy. Well, but why am I gonna? I, wh- I, I learned my lesson on that when I got rid of most of my PS3 collection some years ago. The money I got for it, or the trade-in value I got for it, I might as well have just kept it. Now, No Man's Sky, yeah, I get it. You're talking to notice how you went to a PS4 game and a bullshit one at that. You didn't go to like a really collectible like Mega Man X3 on Super Nintendo. Why don't, why don't I sell that? Well, why would I? Because the second I sell that, there's instantly a hole in my fucking soul with Mega Man X way down there going... You gotta buy it again! Instantly. As soon as that transaction goes through and I realize that's not mine, I want it again. So, I got that game years ago for way below market value. Why the fuck would I want to sell it and go rebuy it? Fuck you here? Any of them. Any game that I have. There, I, I have the games because I want the games. Like I said, if I ever got into some shit, I can't pay my bills, like shit's going downhill, It not even a question. I'm not going to be fucking homeless with a bunch of cool shit, but if we're not there, I'm holding on for dear life for this shit for the rest of my life. Like, I'm being honest. Like, 
I'm not married and I don't have kids. I don't plan on getting married and I don't want kids. If I die, all this shit either goes to you, Doyle, or some, or my brothers or something. I don't know. What? And they don't want it either. And yeah, and you know what? Fuck you. Actually, no, I'm writing you out of my will because it looks like you're just going to sell this shit on Instagram or eBay. Scumbag. Oh, this motherfucker. I'm like, switch. Yeah, glad you're dead. Like Batman. Joker. I'm glad you're dead. I needed the house of the dead then. No. Zero. Nothing in this room is for sale. Castlevania X. Zero. Zero. There is no games in these four walls that are for sale. It's very simple. It will never change. It will never waver. Just like you touching the camera. You know how you touch the camera die? Games are not for sale. Not systems. Not controllers. Not fucking wires. What about turbo graphics? Zero. They yeah. fit the dust. Exactly. You know what? I'll tell you why. Because I don't give a fuck about those. Because those were compulsive purchases I made. And I'm glad that I got rid of them. I made money on them. I'm good. So you're telling me I had things for a couple years, didn't use them, they sat around, they were cool to own, got it out of my system, and I'll make money, I'm down. Now there are some shit in here that I don't care how much money I make on, it's not for sale. And it could be a $5 item, it could be a $5,000 item, it doesn't matter. And a lot of motherfuckers that sell all their shit, you realize just how much of a non-collector they were. It doesn't mean I'm a better person because I'm a real collector. It just means I'm really about this shit, bro. Like, this shit is really important to me. Fuck the money, fuck everything else. I like the items, bro. That doesn't mean I can't sell shit that I don't use. Matter of fact, anything that I sold, I promise you, a value went to, like, really good homes. Because I'm picky as fuck about that. I don't want my shit going to a fucking random dude that's not going to treat it right or is going to break it or we're going to try to resell it um my shit went to some good people shout out to those people um yeah so i mean what the why don't you sell why don't you sell all your fucking little trinkets put them on ebay so you can get money so you can wake up the next day and go i gotta buy more trinkets fucking tommy trinkets over here bro unreal anyway any, any other topic suggestions or are we shutting it down early we talked about cons. Yeah, we talked about cons. Yeah. All right, we'll shut the show down. That's it. No big oh. deal. Yeah, fuck it. Um, because I will say this now that we're at the end of the show. Number one, five hundred subscriber giveaway. Want to shout out to the people. Wait, wait, what about the vlogs? Well, hold on. I'm gonna talk. We, uh, I'm the fucking host here, bro. Can I talk about it? Are well, you, you gonna ask me? And then I realized something, so I stopped you. And then you came over to me. Shut the fuck up. Do you want me to zoom in? No. Oh. No. You made it a whole episode, and you almost died. Now. We're doing a vlog, yes, but I want to tell people about the fucking 500 subscriber giveaway. Giving away Sega Gen Genesis Mini and some other erroneous items. We're going to do a random name generator, which you're going to sit there and type up 500 different people's names. Yep. And then we're going to do the random... Whoever comes up, Jimmy from Ohio, boom. And yo, we're getting closer. Yo, I mean, we got a, we gained a lot of subscribers. Why is it always Jimmy, though? What do you mean? What's wrong with Jimmy? Yo, if Jimmy comes up from fucking Minnesota... People are going to think I'm scamming. Yeah. Yeah, but it's okay. But it's luck of the draw. So, and it's okay. You could tell the people because you're going to be the one that sat there and typed all those names in the number generator. So, we'll, we'll be okay. They're all Jimmys. Well, if they're 500 Jimmys. Um, so, we're giving that away at 500 subs. Shout out to everyone that's been subscribing. Lately, we've had a nice little spike in subscribers. I knew kind of this would eventually happen where the ball's rolling. People are getting to know the show. You know, hey, guess what, Doyle? People that love us and hate us alike watch the show, and I realize that they're both a necessity. So shout out to first-time and last-time listeners. Shout out. Now, we're going to start doing the vlog. I know everyone saw that little mini video. Doyle threw that together, did some nice editing real quick. We just, it was kind of an improv thing. I said, yo, bring the camera to the con. We did some shooting. It was nice. We threw up a little teaser. A lot of people responded to it. DMs, a couple of comments on the thing. People want to see more of that. So... Just know if it doesn't happen, it's his fault. Because the idea is for him to get to my house in the morning before we go thrift shopping and all this shit and film it, all type of shit. If it doesn't happen, no, it's because he didn't show up to the house. I can't do it on my own. Well, I'm the real MVP. I know that. Yeah. Well, what if you don't show up? Then you're the MVP of nothing. You're nothing. So if you don't if you don't get to my house so we can record all this shit, then what the fuck's the point? I'm like Iverson, though. I know. A lot of shit talking, no rings. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This has been the Retro and Rare Podcast.
Go ahead, jump a little while. Yeah. You got the shark? Which one? Oh, I got him. Carnage. You got carnage here, bro. Oh, there's the metal one. 